All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our final view, our detail view. So I'm going to create a new file. And uh, this time we're going to select Swift UI uh, view. And we're going to call this detail view. Okay. And uh, this detail view is going to expect a few things. First of all, it's going to expect an activity to be passed in. Along with repository. All right. And we're going to also create an observed object for our view model. Okay, now it's time to create our initializer, which is going to expect an activity, a repository, All right? So we're going to initialize the activity. Also, we're going to initialize our view model because now our activity and repositories are available. So, we're going to simply create a detailed view model with activity and supplying activity and repository. Like that. Okay. Uh, next up, uh, we need to create our uh, body, uh, but our, our previous section is throwing an error. So, let's go ahead and fix this. So we're going to create the activity as a new activity. I'm going to name it steps, name steps, and the image is going to be, so let me go ahead and open our uh, emoji window. There we go. And I'm going to select the steps right there. So we can see it now. And I select it. Okay. Uh, for the repository, uh, we're going to simply initialize HK repository and supply that. Okay. Now, um, now the remaining part is, is very simple. Uh, all we need to do is, uh, first of all, put our chart view into the picture. And uh, for the values, we're going to say it's going to be view models dot stats dot map and we're gonna we're gonna basically create that so we're gonna say view model dot value from dollar zero dot stat so get the stats from first value and get its values and basically use that as the value for your uh, for your chart okay uh, so that's our map and I'm gonna copy this thing and paste it right here instead of uh, relying on value I'm gonna actually get the description okay for the x-axis uh, label we are going to basically uh, go over view model dot stats dot map and we're gonna map over the detail view model dot date formatter dot string and we're going to create a string from date that's been supplied for the uh, for these stats okay so this is basically going to give uh, get us all the info uh, that is needed for the chart view okay so this is our chart and then we are simply going to create a list with view model dot stats okay and for each stat we are simply going to put them in a V stack with the alignment as leading and text as view model dot view dot value from stat dot stat dot description. We're going to create another text entry stat dot date style is going to be date and opacity is going to be 0 0.5 there we go okay 
And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say navigation bar title is going to be your activity dot name space activity dot image. So that's going to be the name. And then we're going to have display mode. Uh, and this display mode is going to be in line. All right, so let's see where are we. Okay, this is wrong. So navigation bar title. There you go. So that is what we needed. All right. So this is our detail view. Let me go ahead and compile this computer name. Uh, let me go ahead and build it again. Okay. So build succeeded. Now we're gonna go into our into our content view. Okay. And in our content view, if you remember, we had this text of the activity name. We're going to replace this with detail view. Okay. And this uh, detail view takes an activity. So we're going to supply the activity that we have locally available and the repository that we have created here as well. Okay. And with that, let's go ahead and launch uh, the um, app. And uh, I'm going to basically launch the app and uh, move my simulator right here. Okay, so let's take a look at the count, uh, the steps count. And uh, these are uh, the steps uh, that have been uh, registered uh, using my uh, health kit, uh, using my Apple Watch. So as you can see, it's basically collecting all the information based on the type of data. So we are actually displaying the type of the data and uh and we are just um just showing that into a grid and inside the inside the um uh, graph view analyst okay all right so um so yeah so like i said we have reached the end of this uh video tutorial wow this is definitely uh Wrong really big. Okay, so yeah, so this was it for uh, for this uh, for this video. Uh, basically, what what we have done is um, we have created an entire um, app uh, using HealthKit and SwiftUI, and we actually uh, created our own. Um, we created our own uh, uh, chart view, and uh, in this, uh, basically, we just ended up. Uh, having that uh, chart view uh, display all these stats. Well, my X code just crashed, so I guess it's time to uh, say uh, thank you so much uh, once again for watching, and I will see you guys in another series. Thank you.